All right, hey guys, welcome to this video. You probably didn't expect to see on this channel or anytime soon. Uh, I would like to branch out and make this kind of content. This one was more of a request, but at the same time, it gave me an excuse to pull out my camera. Uh, I'm using my phone as my camera because apparently that's pretty good looking in comparison to my uh, webcam. So one of these days I'm gonna get a professional camera, but for now this should do fairly well and whatnot. Uh, I have my green screen behind me. I don't know if it's being used. Uh, but it's there in case I ever want to use it. It's just a nice little green background. I can make it whatever color I desire, I suppose. Something like that, right? Uh, regardless though, so today I have an unboxing video I'm going to be doing for you guys. And I'd like to do more things like this, whether it's unboxings, uh, I'm thinking about doing recent game pickups, or even like, uh, just showcasing fun things that I collect. So if you guys are down for that kind of content, make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know if that's the kind of thing you'd like to see. Uh, I've done all sorts of uh, video game pickups as of late, so if you want to see me show off some new DS games, Wii, PSP, whatever system I've bought from, even maybe even new systems, whatever games I'm picking up, if you guys want to see that, make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me just, just let me know. Let me know if you want to see that. Anyways, let's go ahead and get the unboxing started. Uh, this is the package I've received, and it is from my good friend Clyde, or Game and Clyde, you could use that as the username, right? Uh, username Game and Clyde. Go check out his channel. I'm going to leave it down in the description and it's probably going to be on the end screen or something like that. He has been a huge help on the channel. He has given me uh, quite a bit for the channel in terms of like equipment and just games and all that kind of such. Very big help. He is a really good friend of mine and I'm extremely lucky to have had uh, any of his support and help and whatnot. Clyde also supplied me with plenty of things on my channel like I said uh, in terms of equipment and whatnot. Uh, he got me a Game Boy Advance, a custom one, that was pretty cool, but that wasn't really for recording. Uh, but this was like the Jungle Green N64 that, I bought the Jungle Green 64 myself, but he modded it to be like an HDMI kind of thing. It also has like the back HDMI right here. So if you see me play Nintendo 64 games, it's with this amazing system. I probably, I'll turn off the green screen so you guys can actually see this, but yeah, he helped me get this. And um, just all sorts of equipment and whatnot. So make, make sure you, you give him some support. I really do, I really would appreciate if you guys gave him some support. He does a lot for me. And he does a lot for this channel. You probably wouldn't have seen maybe half a dozen or a dozen projects so far happen in the way they did without his help. So yeah, this is, this is a big boy box. Uh, I'm keeping it this way because the address is on the other side. But we will be opening this shortly. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get underway. It's, uh, it's going to be a fun little package to open up. Okay, and like I said, for security's sake, I'm just not going to show the address that's going to be on the front. It's right over here, but um, I don't really know a good way to cover it up. I tried sharpening it out, but I feel like it could still be seen ever so slightly. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my trusty box cutter and whatnot, and we're going to open up this sucker. He is notorious for taping the heck out of these things, so it's got a really thick layer of skin here. I'm going to try my best to open it without not only hurting myself but actually try to open this dang thing so here we go I'm gonna just kind of stab into it unfortunately this is not the type of pocket knife I'm used to I'm used to my one at work so it's definitely a lot better but there we go we got almost like this side open and whatnot and I'm just going to to go ahead and flip it around here. I'm at a weird angle because of the camera I have here too, so keep that in mind. I have to, I have to allow you guys to see this too. It's unboxing for Pete's sake, right? So gotta make sure we do that. Just gonna go ahead and make a nice line cut here. There we go. Very nice. Got all those lovely papers inside. I should probably go ahead and open up this side too. Probably all sorts of background noise, but you'll have to just deal with it. Seems to be some kind of book inside here too. Oops, I'm moving the camera. That's my B. Um, he always usually tends to throw in like surprises and whatnot, which is always fun. I may not know exactly what all of them are, but it ought to be pretty neat. So he sends these in every now and then. This one is called Blaster Master. Uh, blasting again. This is a PlayStation 1 game, and I remember researching this when I did the original Blaster Master, or not the original Blaster Master, but the Switch one that was on my channel a couple years back. I was researching which um, Blaster Master games existed, and this one's done by Crave Entertainment. Can we get a zoom in on that? There we go. It's, al it's almost there. Let's try, let's try touching my phone. There we go. Crave Entertainment. Look at this old gem. Uh, from what I know, it's actually not that bad. 
it's getting blurry again, sorry about that. Once again, I'll get a proper camera one of these days, but for now this will do. Uh, remember Blaster Master? Oh yeah, buying people with that nostalgia. That's pretty cool though, I'll definitely have to give that a try. I did enjoy the Switch version of Blaster Master, so we shall give that a lovely look. We also have, wow, this is interesting. Um, probably got to pull the camera back a little bit for this one. So let me just make sure the address isn't showing. Yeah, I just want to make sure I'm not pulling a dumb, dumb move here. We got ourselves Viz Media Free Comic Book Day JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. Um, that's pretty dang cool. It's like a it's like your free comic book day kind of thing going on here. It's got some Yu-Gi-Oh on the bottom. Uh, definitely something I did not expect in this package, but um, very interesting the less. Got some of the classic animes on the back. This might be older. I'm actually not too sure, but got some Viz Media here. That's pretty dang cool. JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, guys. Give that a give that a watch if you haven't, or a read if you read mangas and all that kind of such. Um, here's hoping my camera doesn't fall over because I've got it in a really, really weird position. Here we go. We got another thing I'm going to pull out here. A red cartridge of some kind. It is. Oh, this one says Game and Clyde. Uh, that's his username. Well, that's pretty neat. I wonder what it actually does. As a matter of fact, if you guys want to. Follow him on Twitter. I think, yeah, he put his like, Twitter handle up there. Klein Gaiman. There you go. And then the YouTube channel, which, I, like I said, it's going to be in the description. I'll probably put both in the description, but I don't know why I touched the cartridge thinking that'll zoom in on it. But yeah, there you go. It's like a red cartridge. I don't know. Oh! Oh, I see. Okay, I see. I remember. So apparently this game is very uh, Pac-Man-esque. I'm sorry, I read it from the opposite side. That's just his logo showing that he made this cartridge. Um, from what I know, this is supposed to be like a Pac-Man-like game, but with like the depths of Hades involved and whatnot, so pretty neat. Uh, definitely got to give this a try. Maybe this would make for some good content. It's not necessarily Pac-Man, but it can make for Pac-Man content. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in again. There we go. Luckily, the camera audio is not what I'm using for this video, or else this would sound like complete and utter trash. Um, audio might not be perfect, but that's okay. There's something I'm very excited for right here, because if that's what I think it is, I am going to have to thank him even more, because there's a particular Game Boy game I look forward to, and it just fell down in there, I'm so sorry. But there's a particular Game Boy game I look forward to getting one of these days, and if that's the one I'm thinking it is, or even just close enough, I'll be pretty happy. I also got the official strategy guide for Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. I do plan on tackling this series one of these days, and I'm probably going to start with the first one, obviously. I had a lot of requests for it, so... Whenever I get around to Partners in Time, which did not get a remake, it's only on the DS, and if it ever comes to Switch, then so be it, but um, Partners in Time got like kind of like subsided for, I think, one of the other titles, so if I ever do Partners in Time, bada boom, got myself a guide here. Classic Nintendo Guide. Nintendo Guides are always the coolest. Um, there, there I go hitting my camera again. I'm just going to go ahead and hold it for a sec, but yeah, look at that. That's some, that's some beauty right there. Got some nice baby mario artwork and like yeah like luigi being a dad up there it's pretty cool stuff my tripod does not want to stand is this thing like could probably ah no no tripod i need you to work with me okay we good we all good here uh my recording is about to end any time now so i'm gonna go ahead and stop and now booted back up my my phone only has like a 10 minute time limit i don't know if i can change that but yeah, there you go. Uh, but pretty neat. I'm going to go ahead and show the inside because there's always some cool artwork. That's Harry Potter, my dudes. That should say what time frame this came out. We got like, what is that up there? SSX on tour with like Luigi. I remember that. That was one of the SSX games and all that. that is, I did not expect Harry Potter to be in here. I'd like me some Harry Potter. That's a, that's a good movie. Good movie series, I should say. Yeah, there you go. You even got like Baby Peach. Bowser Jr. Gotta have that. Uh, funny enough, actually, Clyde is messaging me right now on my phone, but uh, I'll message you in a sec, buddy. Um, I will definitely do that. <laughs> I gotta thank you for everything you've given so far. Holy cow, so I've got myself the Metal Gear Solid for Guns of the Patriots Tactical uh, Espionage Action. Is this a strategy guide, or what is this? Yeah, the official guide. Holy crap. I've never played many Metal Gear Solid games. I've barely delved into them, but four, from what I know is a pretty big and ambitious game and a lot of people liked it hang on we got some artwork here gotta look at that that's some nice solid snake artwork along with whoever this is i'm sorry if i don't know who these people are some of them age and whatnot so obviously this is like an older version of snake but i know who snake is so <clears throat> sorry i'm having to clear my throat here for a second holy crap i'm 
I just got done doing a commentary myself, so you know, it is what it is. We got another another Game and Clyde cart here. That's actually really cool looking. This is like Oh wow, okay, so Star Fox 2. That yeah, well so for those who don't know, Star Fox 2 never released ever. But it only released on the, I believe it was the Super Nintendo Classic. And you can also play it on your Nintendo Switch via the Super Nintendo Classics game with Nintendo Online. But this is like a legitimate cartridge. He actually turned this into a cartridge. This one I like a lot. Um, I actually got to try a little bit of Star Fox 2 and it's pretty good. Recommend the series. The first game's pretty okay. The second one's interesting and I love 64. But this, this is definitely a neat little piece to own. And I am just like, man, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm getting so many things. Like I usually get a couple things, but he's throwing in a lot here. I, I'm, I'm assuming, I'm assuming it was for the sake of quite a bit in the video. So this one's called Excalibur: The Future Is About to Become History. So Excalibur 2555 AD. Um, I'm not too familiar with these companies, but they seem to be interesting. Um, Graphics-wise, it looks like a pretty decent, solid PS1 game here. Let's see what it says. Could well do for 3D action adventure. So it was for 3D action adventure, what Tomb Raider did for 3D platformers. Okay, that's cool. Then we got one of the most unique 3D games ever. A really, really cool game from Game Fan. So yeah, I'll definitely have to give this a look. Um, I haven't really delved into too many other PS1 games outside of like your typical Crash Fire, that kind of stuff. Like your mainstream games. So I'm very interested to try this one. 2055 AD. If we can zoom in on that. Yeah, there we go. Mm. Got to get that old PS1 kind of uh old dirt all over it it's not dirty or anything but sometimes old jewel cases do get a little older over time you can kind of see the wear and tear but that one's in good condition I'm not I'm not ragging on it i'm just saying games get old this one's orange we got an orange game here okay oh whoa whoa holy frick conquers hyrule tail does he actually go to like in the legend of zelda world what is what is this that's crazy. It's an orange cartridge and everything. I love the look of this. What is going on here? It's it's a Conquer game. Who wants to see this? I'm, I'm, I'm going to kind of play this on my channel. This one, I'm always down for Conquer. This is this is crazy looking. Let's get a really high close thing of footage here on this. Hang on. There we go. Conquer's Hyrule Tale for Super Nintendo. Very interesting. Very interesting. I, I think that's... It's definitely a game we gotta pop in here sooner than later. Now, let's see, what else is down here? I'm like reaching into like a bag like Santa or something. Not very zoomed in right now. There we go. So, now, I, I didn't get to take a look at this, but I am going to be... Now, if it's Pokemon Yellow, I'm going to feel super bad because I just got that recently. I just got a copy of Pokemon Yellow. But if this is Donkey Kong Land or anything like that, there's a higher chance of Donkey Kong Land. But I'm, I'm praying here that it's, it's not Pokemon. Oh, thank God. Okay, this is the exact one I wanted too. Donkey Kong Land 2 for the Game Boy. Wow. Funny enough, funny enough, I was going to pick this up not even a week ago, about roughly a week or so ago. I'm so glad I didn't because he sent me a copy. That would have been embarrassing. But there we go, Donkey Kong Land 2 for the Game Boy. I love the yellow cartridge, and I need to get one and three. I plan on getting those. As a matter of fact, I think after now I'm getting this, I'm probably going to go ahead and pick up one and three just to have the complete set. That'll be good cool stuff man oh donkey kong land 2 thank you clyde you're you're too nice of a guy man his request for this video was that i did an unboxing but i feel like i own way more than that however i i am a man of my word and i i went ahead and did this unboxing which this is fun i think fun things like this every now and then even if it's just kind of random it's just kind of fun to do you know so here's a little photo you thought it was over. You're funny. Oh no! Oh no! I gotta, I gotta open this up without ripping anything. Oh my god! I thought it was over. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just like loosen it up a little. There we go. Very strong tape. I'll try to do it barehanded. It kind of hurts doing it barehanded, but you know what? That's a challenge, my friends. That is a challenge. This really effing hurts though. <laughs> I should probably use a pocket knife, but I'm, I'm very determined. There we go. That's a tear. That's a tear. Man, he is. I'm gonna call him a tapeaholic. I'm gonna go ahead and say a tapeaholic. I 
I need a photo. Okay, I'm already starting to tear the, the photo. I usually try to keep the photos in good tack, like intact is what I'm trying to say here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Man, you're gonna make me work for this one, aren't you? All right, I'm delving deep. Look at that, a deep. Okay, I think it's out of focus, sorry about that. I'm still new to this, I'll have to bear in mind. You know, I'm gonna have to take this behind the camera because I can't, as a matter of fact, hang on. We're gonna change camera view. Okay, I'm back on camera. I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda <laughs> open it up as well as I can here. Oh, there we go. It's like slowly but surely it's going to open. I should not be using my bare hands. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and use the pocket knife a tad. Bare hands is definitely not the smartest way to go, but I want to see how much I can wear it down before I use a blade. <laughs> Just for fun. This one, this is one I I did not expect ever. I, I wanted something like this for a very long time. And recently too, because I have a story behind it. Oh, nope, hang on here. Nope, I'm probably gonna need my blade again. Yeah, let's get the blade again. Sorry about this. You get sick pleasure out of taping the heck out of these. And you know what, you can have it. You can have the sick pleasure. You're a pretty awesome guy anyway, so you might as well get some fun out of this. All right, almost got it. Just gotta, just gotta pull the corner. Ooh, ooh, we close. <laughs> this is like, I feel bad because I don't want to delay the video by like a super long time. But at the same time, I'm trying to be as authentic as I can. I'm about to ruin my shirt here doing this. Okay. Just got to get past the corner. There. Okay. Past the corner. And then let's try, try a nice cut there. There we go. I really shouldn't be using my left arm. My left arm ain't as good. There we go. That should do it. Holy crap. You taped the heck out of this one, dude. All right. I'm actually gonna go ahead and set that off to the side, but wow, okay, there's another bonus in here. Um, so recently, uh, with my Dreamcast, I have like a converter box. It, it wasn't, I couldn't find the power cable for it, so I, went ahead and tried ordering another cable and whatnot and that cable didn't do so well it was like a pound cable for dreamcast it, it did work for me capture card wise and all that so um long story short i went ahead and i tried to uh go back to my original converter box and i, I fricked it up it's open right now but i basically put a cord in there that didn't fit and it broke the power so it's fixable but I was getting tired of the box anyways, so I told myself I want an HDMI modded Dreamcast one of these days. And in my last live stream, at least up until this point, I uh, asked for one. I was like, I'd like one someday, and he was kind enough to send me a like a transparent pink Dreamcast. So it's pretty dang cool looking. I'm all, I'm all down for pink. I'm one of those people that I think pink is a really cool color. Um, it even comes with a copy of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure on Dreamcast. It is burned, but... It was not sold to me, so it's not illegal. You're allowed to do such a thing like that. You just can't sell people things. But yeah, look at that. I'm gonna bring it up a little closer. There's the Dreamcast. Looks pretty dang cool. That was actually a really solid opening. Let's go ahead and watch that one more time, but from like a side view right there. Boom, beautiful. But yeah, and the important part, I didn't get to look at this myself. Down here is where you wanna look. It's the micro HDMI. So here you go, micro HDMI. And I believe the old outlets are still here too, so that's pretty neat. But yeah, overall, pretty dang cool. I look forward to this. This is going to help recording Dreamcast a whole lot easier and even just playing the dang thing. Um, what was I going to say? I had plans for a Let's Play and it got delayed because I couldn't record. I fricked up my box. There's no way I could do this. This is going to bring those plans back into action. And I don't plan on doing it like ASAP like I had because I already made new plans. But soon, sometime this summer, I have two projects planned. One of them is on here. You'll have to wait and see, but thanks, Clyde. I, I really do appreciate all the things you sent me. Uh, very, very big on the Donkey Kong Land 2 Dreamcast. A, a freaking Dreamcast, guys. He sent me a Dreamcast. That should show how nice of a guy he is and how giving and whatnot. He's, he's a really good friend of mine. Make sure you go down to the description, 
check out his channel and his Twitter, give him a follow, give him a uh, subscription, all that kind of stuff. Do me a solid, do that for me. If you want to support me in any way, shape, or form, you don't even have to like my recent videos or anything like that. Just do that. That would help me out a lot because he deserves it. Um, he uploads every now and then and he also um, streams every now and then. Um, I understand that he's got a very busy schedule, so it doesn't happen all the time. But if you could just do that, you're doing me a solid. So I'd appreciate it. Yeah, Dreamcast. Got even like Star Fox 2. We got all these like PlayStation 1 games and whatnot. Conquer. All these... All these neat things, but if you guys want to see this type of content again, let me know down in the comments. Uh, I would love to do more stuff like this. This is kind of like a pilot of a sort. I don't know if it exactly go like this every single time. Uh, I'll probably try to be a bit more professional from here on out, but other than that, um, I would love to do more videos like this. Uh, do some like collecting videos where I show off like things I've bought. Um, you know, like recent game pickups, even just like podcast stuff, me just sitting down talking with you guys, talking about subjects. If you guys want that kind of new kind of content, let me know down in a comment. Just please, I need to know. I need to know if that's the kind of thing you'd like so then I can do it. Um, you might be asking why am I not opening up a new channel for that kind of thing. Uh, as of right now, I just don't have plans for a new channel. I think that's just too much for me to handle at the time. And I just, I don't know if I'd be... I don't really have a structure for this kind of thing yet. So until I figure out a structure and all that, and if I decide I want to open a new channel, uh, this is how I'm going to do things. But like I said, I've already got a fan base here and whatnot, so I'm just going to try to make this work. You might just see these type of videos pop up every now and then, and you can enjoy them. It's really just for fun. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you all very much for watching. Thank you, Clyde. Game and Clyde, make sure you check out in the description. Got links below. Thank you all very much for watching, and I shall see all of you guys next time. Take care. All right, time to go play this bad boy. Before we end off this video, I'd like to take a second to thank those who support me via Patreon. Superstar shoutout to Game and Clyde and Johnny Hedgewold. If anybody else wants to support me on Patreon, there will be links in the description along with my other social media links. Thanks for watching, guys.